Welcome back to another Madden NFL 25 matchup between two AFC West divisional opponents, the Las Vegas Raiders and the Denver Broncos. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one and see which team will come out on top. Let's get it. Gardner Minshew and the Las Vegas offense will get the ball to start off the game. So let's go take a look at his stats from last year with the Colts. He had 305 out of 490 attempts, 3305 yards, 15 touchdowns to 9 interceptions. Here on 1st and 10, Gardner Minshew hands it off to the running back who breaks the tackle at the line of scrimmage and gets the first down, taking it up to the 49-yard line near midfield. That was a carry by Zamir White for the Raiders' first down. Here on 3rd and 1, Gardner Minshew hands the ball off to the running back who breaks out to the right and gets the first down at the Broncos' 37-yard line. That was a great carry by Zamir White for that 3rd down conversion. Here on 3rd and 4, Gardner Minshew works it out to the flat as the pass is completed on the left sideline to Devontae Adams, who takes it inside the red zone down to the Broncos' 18-yard line. And let's go take a look at the replay right there as Minshew was well protected and Adams does a great job to get both feet inbounds for that 3rd down conversion. Here on 2nd and 9, Gardner Minshew has a play action pass and rolls to his left as he takes a shot into the end zone. The pass is intercepted by number 22, Brandon Jones, on the Broncos defense right there as he spins the ball in the end zone to celebrate with his teammates. Let's go take a look at the replay right here as Minshew tried to force the ball, but it was well read and well caught by the defender as he got both feet inbounds to come up with that interception and let's go take a look at Bo Nix as he will take the field for the first time today here are his stats for this year's Madden 25 he's a 71 overall has 88 speed and 72 awareness here on first and 10 Bo Nix has a nice clean pocket as he works it over the middle for the first down as they get up to the 34-yard line, that is a completion to number 19, Marvin Mims Jr. As we are going to hit the end of the first quarter after that play, we are going to be tied up at zero apiece heading into the second quarter. Here on second and one, Bo Nix has a play action pass as he works the flat. The pass is caught and completed to his receiver, Marvin Mims as he takes it into Raiders territory at the 46-yard line. Here on 3rd and 7, Bo Nix snaps the ball, takes a step back in the pocket, tries to escape on the left-hand side, but is chased down by Max Crosby, who comes up with the sack. It'll be 4th and 24 for the Broncos at their own 40-yard line. And let's go take a look at the replay right there, as Max Crosby does a great job to chase down Bo Nix, as he does push-ups to celebrate that sack. Here on 1st and 10, Gardner Minshew steps back in the pocket and quickly fires it over to the left-hand side to Devontae Adams, who takes it up to the 41-yard line and gets the Raiders a first down. Here on 1st and 10 on the play right after, Gardner Minshew gets chased out of the pocket and is chased down by number 29 for the sack. It'll bring up a 2nd and 17 for the Raiders with a minute 24 left here in the second quarter and with here five seconds left this will be the last play of the first half as Gardner Minshew rolls out to his left and tries to pick it up with his feet he is only going to gain about nine yards as we are going to hit halftime tied up zero to zero the Broncos get the ball to start off the second half and here on third and three Bo Nix quickly fires it over the middle into a tight coverage to number 14 Cortland Sutton for the first down at the 43-yard line. Here on 3rd and 9, Bo Nix steps back in the pocket and as he fires it towards the right side of the field, pass will be incomplete. And this is where the Broncos' drive will stall as they will punt the ball back to Gardner Minshew and the Raiders' offense. Here on 1st and 10, Minshew is going to hand it off to the running back as he takes it up the middle and gets the first down, and that is Madison 
with a carry as he gets the first down at the 42-yard line. Here on 2nd and 7, Gardner Minshew has time in the pocket as he works the middle of the field. Pass is caught and completed to number 11 at the Broncos' 26-yard line. Here on 2nd and 10, the Raiders have a wide receiver screen and it is well read by the defender as he is going to pick it off for a pick 6 and put up the first points of the game as the Broncos will take a 7-0 lead over the Raiders here in the third quarter with 3.46 remaining. That was the corner, Riley Moss, with that pick six, number 21 on the Broncos defense right there. Great job by him, putting up the first points of the game. Here on second and eight, they hand the ball off to Madison, who finds space on the right-hand side and gets the first down as he takes it near midfield at the 49-yard line. Here on 3rd and 9, Gardner Minshew is in the pocket as he rolls to his left. He fires it towards the left sideline as Devontae Adam comes back to make that catch for the first down at the Broncos 33-yard line. And let's go take a look at the replay right there as Minshew throws a perfect ball and it was a great job from Adams to create separation from the defender. Here on 1st and 10 on the play right after Gardner Minshew throws it to the right side of the field. And the pass is caught and completed to the rookie Brock Bowers on the play as he gets it inside the red zone and takes it up to the Broncos 11 yard line. Here on first and 10 on the play right after Minshew has time in the pocket as he works the right sideline. The pass is caught and completed to number 16 on the play. That is Jacoby Myers with the touchdown catch as we are going to be all tied up at 7 apiece here in the fourth quarter. He does a great job to keep both feet in bounds as he makes the catch. Here on third and eight, Bo Nix has time in the pocket. It's a designed halfback screen as he will be stopped short of the line again. It'll be fourth and one for the Broncos at their own 35-yard line with a minute 22 left here in the fourth quarter. Broncos decide to punt the ball and here on third and ten Gardner Minshew signals to his offense and fires it towards the left sideline as the pass is caught and completed to Devontae Adams as he gets past the line to gain at the 32 yard line. Let's take a look at the replay right here as the, he thread the needle and Devontae does a great job to get both feet inbounds for the first down. Here on 2nd and 4, Gardner Minshew quickly fires it over the middle as the pass is caught and completed to number 11, Tucker, on the play as they get into Broncos territory at the 49-yard line. Here on 2nd and 10, Gardner Minshew quickly fires it towards the seam as the pass is caught and completed to Devontae Adams in field goal range and in the red zone at the 15-yard line. Great job by Devontae Adams and a timely conversion and gain of yardage for the Raiders right there. And with eight seconds left, they can set up for the final field goal attempt right here. And the Raiders send out their field goal unit as the kick is up and good. They will take a 10-7 lead over the Broncos with five seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. With five seconds remaining here in regulation, this will be the last play. As Bo Nix shuffles around the pocket, has great protection and will compete the pass over the middle and it will be short of the end zone and it will end the game as the Raiders are going to defeat the Broncos 10-7. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If you're a fan of the NFL and college football, stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long. Appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.